Sharonda Williams Hair Wait. Hi, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? Look, I am doing fantastic. You are on all of my TV screens. Every time I watch a movie or a TV show, you are there and I'm so here for it. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm not annoying you. <laughs> no, you would never annoy me. You know, like one of the first things that I want to ask you, is there a genre of film or TV that you have not done yet? Because you have covered a lot of different genres. You know, I haven't, I haven't done like a romantic comedy, have I? I don't think so. I mean, I did a really, really short film, romantic comedy, years and years and years and years and years ago, but I haven't really done that, like, yeah. Okay, so I need to manifest the rom-com. Yeah, let's That's do that. To manifest. <laughs> okay, it's, it's already done. It's, it's done. It already happened. We just manifested it right here. Amen. But, you know, I'm here for it. You, and it's so interesting. I was literally just having a conversation yesterday about rom-coms and why we need more of them. But then yeah. like, we'll have to talk about it when you're doing press for your rom-com because it's going to happen. So I love that. Yes. Yes. We, manif we manifest in this year. We manifest. <laughs> but one of the things that I wanted to ask is why now, with, with everything that you've been doing, um, the success that you've had in these past couple of years, why, what was the decision to go back to the comic universe, but this time with Marvel? You know, when Marvel offer you a role, like you take it. <laughs> like I, I did, I actually did manifest it. I, after watching, Black Panther. I was like, I hadn't, I was not a Marvel fan. Like, I didn't think it was for me. I didn't see myself reflected in it. And I really didn't, I just thought it was for a certain, I thought it was for a certain type of person and that it wasn't for me. And so I, I just missed out. I missed out on all of all things Marvel and amazing until Black Panther. And then I was like, whoa, these are have this, this, they're having these conversations in the superhero realm with T'Challa and, and, and Killmonger, I'm like, this is so exciting. I had never um, imagined that I would, I would see these kind of conversations in a, a superhero world. And from that moment on, I was absolutely sold on Marvel as just a company and, um, and, and the, the franchise of the films. And I was like, I want to be in the MCU. I really do. And like, no, I thought it was probably going to be like, you know, if I was going to, I didn't know the phone call was going to come for Loki. And I didn't know I would, I thought it would be like in a, in a Wakanda-esque kind of world. And I got this call for Loki and I was like, yep. Yeah. I asked and, and I, and I got it like, yeah. It was just amazing. It works. It works to manage. Oh, it does. I 100% believe in it. 100%. But, but you know what? We can still, we can find a way to get the TVA to have to go investigate something in Wakanda. It can still happen. <laughs> Anything is possible. I'll it pitch it. I'll pitch it. <laughs> well, one of the things that I love that you said is that, you know, you never thought that you would be a fit for the MCU. And it's something that we've really seen even uh, since Black Panther is we're seeing more women, but especially women that look like me, like I can see myself on screen, um, but also be fierce and be dominant. And I really wanted to know what has that experience been for you knowing that you're going to inspire so many more people that this could be an opportunity for them? I mean, it feels really, it feels very um, humbling. I've always thought like, why do superheroes have to look like this? Why do they have to look like this? And what I love about, um, I, what I love about B15 is that she's strong and she, my body, my strong African body is absolutely being used to its absolute max. I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a strong girl. I'm very, very strong. <laughs> Maybe not as strong as Tom Hiddleston because, I mean, sometimes he had to like tone it down a bit because I couldn't, I couldn't do the thing that I, 
was meant to be doing but I just love that because it just really played on all of it played on the thing that I I really do love about my physique my you know I love it and um yeah and I just I, I, I yeah I wasn't um I wasn't expecting that I really thought like you know uh that it, you would have to look a certain way to be in this kind of film and uh, from even the fact that I have my natural hair is just it just feels good I'm like yes yes I didn't I didn't know that it was ever going to be like this look I was here for it. even when B15 was like absolutely not we are not doing this like that I was like tell the people I was here for every single moment of it. It was my favorite. <laughs> but one of the, the things that we talk about, and I, I feel like it's the thing that we talk about in society is are people capable of change? And I know for your character, I don't think B15, I don't think that, you know, that, that she thinks that Loki is capable of change. Um, but from your perspective, do you feel that Loki is capable of changing of being a good and decent guy or you know just I'm trying to hold out hope for Loki I'm trying to hold out hope I don't know um that's a big question are people capable of change and I uh, I don't know I've, I've always remember that quote when someone shows you themselves believe them the first time and I feel like someone can they can change their behaviors but do they change their spirit I don't know. I don't, I, 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 I don't think so personally, but I don't know about Loki. I feel like he, I mean, I mean, he's changed a lot throughout the whole, like the whole um, series of films, like, you yeah. know, but then his essence hasn't changed, you know? Look, when you brought up the spirit, I was like, okay, now Loki spirit, we got to pray over that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I am so happy for you. I can't wait to see you in that rom-com that we manifested. But mm -hmm. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and enjoy thank your week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Such a pleasure.